All right, everybody, welcome back. I don't often get to walk around the finished set under real lighting conditions. We're on our dinner break, but this is a one day thing. We've started putting it together for its final appearance this morning at about 9 a.m. and wrap that up about 3 p.m. and move right into filming. We're breaking for dinner now around six and we're gonna go till nine. We just have three musical numbers out here, but we painted the floor in gray Blended it out to black with the spray gun. Tied our trees off above, poured our mulch around the base. I brought this nice um, floor mat from home. It kind of had a grand um, sort of, you know, appearance here in front of this building, which is implies a nice hotel, basically, was the idea. Our planner's made out of some stacked pots from the greenhouse, our laser cut signage, faux brass signage, some nice monograms on the doors that are just paper, hanging in there on string. Our bird of paradise, it's cool under certain light, you can see it in there and nice, uh, kind of applies a nice lobby beautiful fruit cart all of our really high quality fake produce awning all done up hanging baskets our little coffee with branded stickers on them we did have some lettering for the windows but uh, we had a scaling issue it's just a lot of detail to getting something out of Photoshop and into the real world at the right scale and we ended up with something that was too small to appear on the window and a bit too wide to appear on the door so that's so that's that but we had some other nice stuff in here and I think the windows are busy enough overall that you don't really notice we've got our dry brush on all of the window details and some you know just kind of spray and splatter white along with our roller sponge texture for concrete also all up on the awning with the spray splatter texture went out and harvested some real grit and sand from outside and threw that in along the base of the pieces all along Ooh, here are those corbels looking pretty good for being made of cardboard and foam and plastic bottles i'd say and leaf litter and stuff like that we collected up outside mulch around the base of the trees. Oh, hey, lamp post. It's looking real good, huh? Not bad, threw a weight in the bottom of that, so it's, you could tip it over if you tried, but I would have to kill you. Here's that real fire hydrant we talked about. Not a bad look here. Not a bad look at all. And then, of course, the doors work. Well, this one anyway. Come in. Everything's black on this side. Got a little partition wall here. Black out over here. And then this small area here of the coffee shop for a musical number that's in here, which is nicely art directed. Some real fresh cookies. And. Just some simple black accoutrement. And we left the top colored just to give us a little home base for the action here. But all in all, with the practicals, real light fixtures, and we had some real stuff in the, you know, some things that wouldn't be right on any street out in the greenhouse, but they had some natural, colorful, natural tones. Normally it's, you know, you don't want to go off the palette, but I knew if it was a real leaf, even if it was a tropical plant or something rare, that it would colorful, uh, provide colorful like bric-a-brac here to mess this all up. Because, of course, when we were done freshly painting a fake sidewalk and bringing in faux grass, we didn't have what appeared to be a rough enough side of the road kind of a texture here. So I also had a spitty kind of a spray paint can that was fighting me and didn't want to do anything but spray spit and spew I actually sprayed it all over the surface of this building you can see 
but that gives us more texture that on camera is more interesting than a perfectly flat smooth tone which is why a lot of this stuff like again here you can see it there it's the same spitty can has been going for years actually to kind of create and I just let it rain out on the floor here and you can kind of see how that helps us out and I did tape the cracks in the sidewalk before I rolled the gray so then we just pulled the tape up and we ended up with some a bit too harsh I would have, should have used more like a 70% gray instead of a black but what are you gonna do there you have it We did the best we could with the twisted lumber in the basement. I bought a few things. Everybody pulled hard, came together. We sourced a lot of stuff right off the grounds. Things from, you know, our AV guy that works as a volunteer fireman and parents and lots of student help painting our signs and, um, you know, doing some of the smaller construction modification stuff. And we donated, and by we, I mean me, a lot of these specialty items that I'll either take back or right off but in the end pretty happy with how everything came together and uh, if you stay tuned we'll do a set construction project annually every year by about this time all right thanks for watching we'll see you